going back to the law then caught in the age act of adultery. There are three reasons Jesus didn't have to let them dishonor. One, if he wasn't her husband, that ain't even his business. <laughs> Two, they didn't bring them in. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling you that too, right? <laughs> you gotta sum them both together. <laughs> right. And three, even if it was his wife, right? <laughs> and they were legally married, right? <laughs> he again is teaching what versus what. Forgive versus stoning, right, or condemning, right? Those are the three reasons why Jesus wouldn't condemn her, whether, I keep telling you, that she was his wife or not, right? I don't know either, right? But you don't know either. You can't take up a side when there's no clear side to take up, right? What we don't know if this, if Jesus was married or not. No one said he was, and no one said he wasn't. <laughs> That's the real problem. <laughs> okay, you have to guess. When you guess, that's a heresy in and of itself, because the scriptures don't tell you right, if he was married to a woman or not. Now, it does act kind of strange about the woman at the well, though. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded of Jacob and Rachel meeting there, right? I know that. And they got married eventually, <laughs> eventually. Though with Leah in the middle. <laughs> this woman had five husbands, was living with a dude in sin, right? According to us today, <laughs> in the church, in the church. <laughs> she was just living in sin. She had five husbands. That's what I know in the church, you get divorced. <laughs> she divorced five times. <laughs> and was living with a dude, right? <laughs> Right, but you want to condemn her, right, when Christ forgave her. Mm -hmm. And Christ is treating her like Rachel and Jacob, right? <laughs> we know they did eventually have a son, Joseph, and another son, Benjamin, right? Right. Though so that could have to do with the words you speak having power <laughs> over even your own wife <laughs> and her father, <laughs> If she stole one of his idols. <laughs> with Joseph, she had a normal childbirth, right? Why not with Benjamin? <laughs> Did she do something wrong? Yeah, she stole the idol. Yeah, she stole an idol. <laughs> Wasn't that an ono in the Bible? That's an ono in the Bible. <laughs> and they both said, Oh, I didn't take it. Oh, I didn't uh, just pretend to proceed. Right? Let the person die. Who stole the idol? <laughs> Who stole the idol? Rachel. Rachel. It was a keepsake, right? It's like a little ornament. It's like a little cross in your house you have on your wall or something, right? And it's your dad's cross, <laughs> but you take it with you when you go with your husband or you get married, whatever. You, you understand, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> he wanted that damn cross back. He done took his daughter's. I'll be damned if he'll have my damn cross. <laughs> right? right? You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Dad's getting mad for the wrong reason, right? <laughs> and son-in-law don't know who got the idol either because it's not his thing to worship idols. <laughs> I know that's a Jewish thing you don't understand, but I do, right? I'm reading the whole thing, right? Even they read their whole Bible <laughs> cover to cover, I bet. <laughs> Especially the old. <laughs> it says a lot of things in there they're not teaching in the synagogues or in the churches or in the uh, temples or in the <laughs> whatever you want to call it, right? You're not teaching what I'm teaching, right? Because you don't want to learn it the way the Lord is showing me, right? You can't handle the truth, right? Men are leading you by orthodoxy into sin. Into sin. <laughs> See, the thing about the orthodoxy is you can't use the divine name because it confuses you. It's feminism. But men were also named feminine names. <laughs> Even Gail, <laughs> with Abby in front of it, means father of joy. Mm -hmm. Now, Abby is father. Gail is joy. Mm -hmm. 
You can call her Gail. <laughs> you can call her father Abby. But he named her Abigail for the fact that he was the father of a joy. <laughs> it was joy. Right? <laughs> you understand, right? <laughs> Even joy. Behar, right? Um, the View, right? Should know her real name is Gail. <laughs> the Hebrew name. Not Abby. Not <laughs> Abby. It's his father, father. <laughs> so I'm sure she, I think she's a little Jewish, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but that's the history of her name, right? Right. Whether it's Abigail or Gil, <laughs> they both mean Father Joy or Joy, right? <laughs> but Abby is Father and Gail is Joy, right? <laughs> So which one is Abigail, right? Both of the father produced joy with his daughter, right? And called her Gail. And called her Gail. Abigail. Because he was the father of joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't get the simplicity of that story, right? Do you do? You? And like I keep telling you, right? You can't prove nothing from 30 years ago anyway, but to repeatedly bring it up means you're obsessed with my sex life, right? Even involving my stepdaughter in it, who was only four. <laughs> and her mom was there, and I'm not that out of it. I'm not. Right? You think I don't know, not to try to have sex with my stepdaughter if her mom's right there in the room. <laughs> Whether you like or not, right? Right. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't think I'm that out of it, <laughs> whether she came in there or not, which is the point. I'm giving you two possible ways, even, right? If she were to wake me up, it could have happened or not. I'm confessing it <laughs> to make the point that <laughs> that wouldn't be normal in the first place. But if it is, I can handle it. I upgrade my sister and... Mm. She never tried to come in there to my bedroom either, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Nor when I was living in the living room <laughs> with my mom when I got the baby. <laughs> I stayed in the living room and she stayed in the bedroom. I told you that before too. Right. If not, I don't even know, so someone bite me out. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like mom or big god or something. Right? I don't remember, right? I ain't tried to push that. <laughs> I'm in the living room all night, right? Even when her little friends would sleep over, I would sleep in the den, right? In front of the TV and ignore them and ignore them and let them have their time as teenagers, right? <laughs> Even if she likes meeting the girl. <laughs> I know not to do that with her. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I stayed in the den, no problem, no problem. <laughs> right, Renee? <laughs> Didn't once go even to the bathroom until the morning. <laughs> and see, they're in their room, but they can probably lock the door, and I didn't even check the door to see it was not, it's not my business, right? Right? I didn't even go that far, right? Uh, I did that with Jennifer's store, right? But I expected to be locked too, right? <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> But all I did was touch her in, on her leg to a certain point and then stop and then explain what was going on, right? But I was just, you know, kind of confused because of the problems I was having with the baby, right? That's why I'm there, too. Now, like I said, <laughs> I don't remember nothing happening, and the only way it could have happened is later on at night before morning, right? But anything could happen during that time, right? I don't recall anything but staying asleep on the couch, you understand, right? <laughs> so, the only way something could have happened, like I said, if someone knew in the house, right, after she came in there, right, if we did something or not, right, and they bite me out before morning, right, they, they attacked me over it, right, after we did whatever we did, right, <laughs> I don't remember, right. I also know I'm supposed to try and explain what was going on to me in her to where she's satisfied that it was within the confounds of truth, right? <laughs> See, I'm not 
looking for sex with my cousin, though I would tell her she's the prettiest cousin on it. <laughs> Whether I was trying to get into her pants or not. <laughs> but that don't mean nothing happened. That don't mean nothing happened. <laughs> Unless, like I said, she has an alternative memory, right? Completely <laughs> different than mine. Because normally, if she acted a little weird about it, you know, she wasn't necessarily on the same page to begin with, right? But like I said, that's why you also don't touch her, but so far, up the knee <laughs> or the thigh, right? You don't touch her vagina, right? You don't touch right? So like I said, all I remember doing with Shonda is tickling her with her clothes on. <laughs> and maybe it got a little low, right, in the belly area, right? But I don't remember, you know, actually touching the crotch area, right? Just t tickling her while we're laying beside each other. That's it, that's it, <laughs> I keep saying that too, right? <laughs> as far as I know, we just kind of talked a little bit and then Myra came back from wherever she went. <laughs> and we ate or something later on and I was playing with Bobby, but I swung around and accidentally hurt his arm because that's something I would do with my sister. I would swing around by the arm, right? I don't know. The boy couldn't understand what I was trying to do, <laughs> And maybe he tried to pull away, right? I didn't do that on purpose either, Meyer, right? <laughs> I just didn't know if I was to play with him, right? Thought all I was doing was trying to play with him, right? Like I did Renee a little bit, right? But maybe he was too big to do that. I didn't realize that either, right? <laughs> I know. But like I said, it was an accident. It wasn't meant to hurt the boy, but... <laughs> all I can do is say, sorry, I didn't know how to play with it. I was just trying to play with him, right? And I don't have a lot of memories of Bobby either, but more Shonda, but even that scattered, right? And then the one I can see her. <laughs> but you got to understand it either way, right? Now, if the waitress is going to see, like I said, what, the problem is becoming time, right? If it takes me 20 minutes to eat, it takes me 20 minutes to eat, Sean, in the restaurant. If it's taking longer, <laughs> what are your waitress doing to distract me from time in the meantime? <laughs> now, they're not, again, <laughs> right, right. I know. <laughs> Anything to do with me. They're not supposed to be, except to serve me the food and the restaurant, right? Now, mm -hmm. The only thing I can offer them is a massage in the bathroom. <laughs> uh -huh. But if I don't remember doing the massage, someone's thinking something more is going on than the massage in the bathroom, right? Whether it did or not, I guess. <laughs> now, I know I do have the opportunity to have sex with them, right? But I don't know perfectly if I did, right? And that's the point. I'm not trying to, right, with certain people either, like my sisters, right? Right? I, mean, I don't try that at all. Because it is iffy, right? I told you why, because of Noah. Not Billy Ray Cyrus' daughter and Molly. <laughs> either, either. But the girls, Noah, and her other two sisters who were born of a man who had no sons, right? But only daughters, only daughters. And this had to do with inheritance and keeping it in the family. <laughs> well, part of that included marrying your first cousin, even, right? If there was a male born to your brother, right? And the females were all you had, right? The firstborn female and the firstborn male could marry, right? Now, guess who was the firstborn cousin of Jennifer and David? Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> and guess which one I really hit on? Jennifer. Jennifer. Lee, Lee, Lee. <laughs> I don't remember anything happening beyond that, right? I just remember that I touched her leg and <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> went to sleep and they both got right. <laughs> and then when I went to the bathroom later on to pee or whatever, right? Like I said, right? You usually can go to the bathroom later on, right? <laughs> And I just made sure the door was locked, and that's it. <laughs> and let it go at that. 
So I remember that. That's all you remember. Don't remember nothing else. Don't remember nothing else. <laughs> no. Though legally, Jennifer would be the only one I could be with in that situation. Right? I don't know nothing about me either, right? I don't know. But that would be the interpretation of that that part of the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Bobby is Ronnie's brother, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right. If he only had daughters, right? Uh huh. <laughs> um, me and Jennifer had sex and she got pregnant, right? Again, again, I don't know. I don't know. But if she did, right? And we did, right? <laughs> It's legal, it's legal. Judaism and Judaism. <laughs> and Christianity and Christianity. Because we're also still saved by grace through faith, not of any, not of works, these any man should boast still, right? Even me and Jennifer in that situation, right? And my dad was murdered, right? Though her dad was still alive then, right? But, mm hmm. Still could have to do with some kind of inheritance, but like I said, right? Now, Rusty is Russell's firstborn. We have a problem with Shay now. He might be someone else's. We didn't know that. We didn't know that. Or someone suspected, like my mom. But again, this is dirty laundry. Right? <laughs> I don't want to really air it. <laughs> but then there's Shay's girlfriend, who I met the stripper. <laughs> went off with her. And then Shay and his friend went off with the stripper. <laughs> and left me and his girlfriend a lot. Right? Do you think that's a good idea? No. No. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do, Shay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You do care who I fuck if it was your own girlfriend, right? Or you left me and her alone. Mm -hmm. And see, if I had sex with the stripper, like I thought it was real quick, it didn't seem right. After that, right? <laughs> I mean, she didn't really smell nice, right? Because I tried to lick her, right? <laughs> And then I tried to feed her, and that was it. That was it. Then I brought it back, then I brought it back. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's kind of quick, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I would tell her. His girlfriend, right? But again, right, right. <laughs> You keep coming too. I keep coming too. <laughs> and again, me and her are doing different things, but I don't remember all the details. But I'm trying to have sex with her, but I'm not. Don't remember doing it, right? <laughs> and see, that's just boyfriend and girlfriend, right? But like I said, there's swingers and then there's players and then there's cousins who come by accidentally trying to celebrate your party with you and then the stripper goes off with him and then your girlfriend gets pissed off because you go off with the stripper. Right? I don't know what to do there. Right? But it's still like <laughs> trying to deal with the situation. right? And if she gets so mad she wouldn't fuck me anyway, it don't matter. Right? You know what I mean, right? If she was that mad, she would have fucked anybody. <laughs> At least it was your cousin, I guess, right? <laughs> but if we're not cousins, like I said, <laughs> we weren't treated that way, right? We didn't know that until later, right? <laughs> and I'm still confused by your girlfriend and the stripper both trying to fuck me, right? I know. And I don't know if Russell paid the stripper to be with one of the boys, right? <laughs> or both of the boys, I don't know. <laughs> or all three of the boys. <laughs> I don't know. But when she went off with them two, right? That's when the girlfriend and I started kind of messing with each other about remember nothing happening, but it could have, right? But if Shay caught us after we started doing it, we finished it. <laughs> he came back and did something to me, right? Backed me out. And then 
They went off again. <laughs> oh, man, right. Came back again. <laughs> I did it at least twice. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and then she came in back, the stripper, right? And I don't remember being with the girlfriend, right? So again, we're together till morning, right? And I give the stripper my address on the ship. Right? And I get her address, I'll tell you. Right? That's what I remember. That's what I remember. Rest I'm kind of making up, like I said, right? 50 50. <laughs> but I let her choose, and I felt like she was still trying to be faithful to Shay, and I would let her do that too. You understand, right? I don't know. I don't know, right? I wouldn't force her though, Shay. <laughs> and she could tell me no, and I think she was trying to be faithful to you, even though you went off with the stripper, right? <laughs> That's what I mean too. That's what you mean too. I don't think we did anything, just me and the stripper, right? And, uh, right. But, of course, I'm confused, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and she did get a little bitchy with the guy trying to help us tip gas for my car, which he had to drive all back to where we ran out of gas and help us get gas to fill it up, and then I had to put more gas in it, right, when we got back to Bloomingdale to make sure I made, we made it home, where I made it home, right, back to my mom's house, where she was living on Main Street, <laughs> down on Main Street, down on Main Street, down on Main Street, right, <laughs> Stroke. Bob Seger, uh, the Silver Bullet Band, <laughs> <laughs> There's always a main street in some city. Right, Bob? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. So that's coincidental, too, right? And I can think of a song about Main Street and then use Bob's songs as an example of that, right? <laughs> and quoting, and <laughs> quoting. Under free speech, so, right? fair use, fair use. Because it's still speech. It's still speech. Lyrics of a song cover two categories. Speech. Even if you're singing it, right? And. What? Mm, educational, right? If you live on Main Street, <laughs> you too can say, down on Main Street, down on Main Street. <laughs> and that's coincidental phrase. Anyone can use this space for educational purposes because I'm explaining why I can use it under fair use and what it means, right? So that's two things. I can also critique that I like the song listening to it growing up. That's three. I can parry it and sing something different, too. Uh, let's see. Not on 37th Street. I'm just playing <laughs> right there. Right there. Down on 37th Street. Whatever street you want it to be. Isn't that right? Because you have Main and then all the way up. To whatever street. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is any neighborhood. And then I parried it and changed the words a little bit. <laughs> That's what it means. That's what it means, right? And you can demonstrate all four points of fair eats. Right? Educational, right? Critique, like the song or not, as simple as that. <laughs> Parody, you can both impersonate Bob and change the lyrics, right? <laughs> right. Right. That's what it means, simply. A parody is a different version of the song with the same melody, right? So instead of Main Street, I said 37th Street, right? <laughs> simple as that, as simple as that. And what's the last one? <laughs> education, education, so, right. <laughs> and I just point out how every, so most cities have a Main Street. <laughs> and again, <laughs> that makes it the educational part, and I named the source as Bob Seeger in the Silver Bullet Band, right? The final thing is you give credit to the person who artist who sung the song, right? At least, at least. 
if you know that, right? Like, if I don't remember the name or title of the song, I can say it's a song. Like, I heard the song on the radio, but I'm not sure if you're saying it. But if you remember, please let me know, right? And something like that, right? <laughs> and that's up to you, right? But like I said, I don't go after, all right, <laughs> 100%, neither the girlfriend nor the stripper. And me and the stripper, we just went out together, <laughs> right? Like I said, right? Are you in love with the stripper? Right. <laughs> Got a little bit of usher in me, I guess. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it don't matter, right? Sometimes it's a masseuse. <laughs> or two or three or two or three. <laughs> sometimes it's a nail technician I might like a little bit, but it's not exactly the weird side stop. Even going around her because he calls the police on me, right? Or the he did or he did, right? But I don't know if you're being literal, sarcastic, or what. Okay. And who says I'm committing fornication when I'm trying to find a wife? Right. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you can't have free of sex either. It don't. It don't. <laughs> what Paul is addressing is whether a man, the father, should allow his virgin daughter to marry. Dumbass. <laughs> or keep her for Christ. No. He say, well, it's up to you and your daughter, right? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> if she marries, she does a good thing. If she don't marry, she does a good thing. <laughs> it's her choice. <laughs> you don't even get what that spot, do you? <laughs> it has nothing to do with premarital sex. No, no. <laughs> what he does say about premarital sex, and that's Moses himself, is if a man becomes a woman, and she's a virgin, <laughs> and she's unbetrothed, okay? And they start a sexual relationship. He can sometime at that after that point, <laughs> however long it is, right? Still ask the father's head in marriage <laughs> of the girl, uh, the woman, right, right, whatever age she is, right. And he can either accept the proposal or refuse it, and then he has to pay her dowry or fifty shekels of silver, right. <laughs> That's the price of a man, by the way. <laughs> uh -huh. But you're not supposed to make your daughters prostitutes, right? You would be better to let them marry, right? right. That's called an elopement if you have free marriage of sex before the father betrays the daughter, right? Now, you have two choices if you're the father. Let them marry or refuse and he can pay her dowry, right? But then the matter's settled, right? If he pays the dowry, right? But then your daughter's going to be pissed with you because if she's sleeping with him, she loves him. Right? You understand? <laughs> You're not reading it right. You're reading it 100% based on Constantine and the Orthodox messed up interpretation of it. Yes, you are. <laughs> you don't even understand what it's about, <laughs> even, right? Are you a bishop or a deacon? Are you an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, a pastor, or an evangelist? Which are you? <laughs> you can be all those things. One of them, you can only have one life, or two of them, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> a prophet ain't bound by that. A prophet can have more than one life, right? How do I know? <laughs> Read the whole Bible. Read the whole Bible. <laughs> <sighs> Hannah's husband had another wife. Okay. <laughs> so he's not seen as a prophet. I know. But he is Samuel's father, right? Unless you're suggesting he lied in it like his sons, which would be a sin, which would be a sin. <laughs> And see, he thought she was drunk <laughs> when she was praying to the Lord to have a son, and then she dedicated him to the Lord, right? And she also had children with her husband after that, right? I know, I know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sometimes, sometimes, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. But you're not reading the whole, you're reading the part, right? When you read a part of something, it's like Satan quoting Jesus. <laughs> He's reading the part of the Bible without a context, right? Of the whole, of the whole. 
When you do that, you're misinterpreting the whole point. And like Jesus said, you're following me. You think you're following me, but really you're not. You have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. God is the spirit. And they that worship it must worship it in spirit and in truth. A man is not above his God, right? And it has no image of spirit, right? It dwells in both the male, the female, and the hermaphroditic image, and there are three images now, right? Not two, not two. And you are denying the third image because of your sins, right? And Constantine's sin, and the orthodox sin, that God is male only, right? See, what you're saying is if God has the form, it has to be one or the other. Male or female, male or female. Wrong, wrong. He can be both, he can be both. And male and female. Ain't Christ manifested into two others? Right? With him talking? Right? In front of Peter, James, and John, who are three men. They're your trinity of males in front of Christ, right? Who is talking to two other people from him. From him. Matamorph. It's translated as transfigured. Do you know what that means? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's like a transformation from one person into two others, right? Now, are these two others not from Christ? Like Eve is from Adam, right? If Eve was out of Adam and was in Adam, right? And you take her out of him 50-50 and give her her whole body, right? That means 50-50, they shared the first body. They were alone, all one, all one. In the body of the image of God, right? The hermaphrodites, you could only see them in pointers, but that's what I mean, right? They look like they're both. They look like they're both too. <laughs> if you've ever seen one, right? But you gotta watch porn, <laughs> and the Christians are against porn, so you can see one. <laughs> Unless you're doing it for education purposes. <laughs> I know. I am. I am. <laughs> And I don't condemn you who don't know, but I know why you don't know. Stubbornness, false beliefs. Listening to the wrong scripture at the wrong point, right? That can mess you up too, right? Becoming self-righteous and self-deluded in your own sins that you think are good works, right? That's what Jesus means. Are we not casting out devils in your name, Lord? <laughs> sure you are. But the devil's in you. <laughs> the devil's in you. You're not casting out the devil in you, <laughs> but you're casting out the devil in someone else, too. <laughs> not seeing the devil in you. <laughs> it's your male-mindedness towards the Spirit of God, right? That God's male only, right? It's not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's three forms. Uh, three forms. <laughs> Anything that's in is its form, right? <laughs> Too, whether it's an amoeba all the way up to man, too, right? Anything that has life in it, it was designed for that spirit to not also animate it, right? But also divide it into more than one, right? That's called reproduction of that cell, right? Now, if it's asexual, it don't need another cell <laughs> or two zygotes like we do to reproduce, right? But if we need two cells to reproduce, an egg and a sperm, right? We have to become from one into two anyway to reproduce, right? That's why the male image, right, and the female together as one is the first image of Adam, right? Then I take you out of Eve. Only God could do that. I morphed her out of the man, he says. <laughs> and she became two. <laughs> from him. Into beside him, fully, fully. Even Plato talks about split apart. Well, it's hard to do that with two males. It's hard to do that with two females. But a male and a female, you can split them apart, right? From one, where the male keeps the body, and two, you make the female's body new, right? From the parts in him that were her. <laughs> two, two. So one human being had it all. <laughs> the male and female, of the male and female, right? Wherefore, one, that he might seek a godly seat, right? 
The godliness of the seed is that it's made by the dust of the earth without no sexual contact with any other creature. As Christ was placed in the womb of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> That's why he who knew sin became sin for you. He knew no sin. He knew no sin. Even if he was with the woman at the well. <laughs> and six other women to fulfill the prophecies of Isaiah. Of Isaiah. Especially 4.1. 4, 1. 4 1. That's legally allowed for the Messiah to do if he had daughters only too, right? Though Philip had seven virgin daughters that did prophesy. <laughs> I told you that too. Now, your problem is prophecy can be given by a male or a female. And that makes both her or him a prophet or a prophetess. Now, what is a prophetess without a husband? <laughs> a prophet? Prophet. What is a prophet who's not married? A prophet. <laughs> the difference is, ah. <laughs> Is added to make a woman a prophetess, right? And there's no awe with the male. Mm -hmm. He's just a prophet, right? But they're both prophets. Mm -hmm. Whatever the word is, right? In the Hebrew, right? <laughs> like Cohen, right, is priest. Kohenah is what? Priestess. Priestess, right? <laughs> that simple. Sar is what? Prince. Sara is what? Princess. Eliyahu is what? Eliyahu is what? <laughs> Yahoo, Yahoo. The divine name is what? Yahuwah. Yahuwah. Because <laughs> it ends with an H. That's why the Orthodox don't use it. It's too divine. It's too holy. <laughs> it's too holy. Right? It's the feminine form of Yahoo. <laughs> it is. It is. It fits too. I know it fits too. <laughs> you can't say it no. <laughs> You can even do Yahvah and it's closer to Yahweh or Jehovah, right? Though it's taken from both. I don't know. From two names where they're not wanting you to know the name, right? From King James to today, right? They don't want you to say the name, right? But you could say the name because your God does not prevent you from saying the name. Their God does, right? The God they're following, <laughs> Which makes you wonder if it's the same God, right? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Not fool around. Not fool around. <laughs> because when you're marrying and you're trying to find a wife, you're open to any woman. Any woman can be your wife. <laughs> but when you're single, you can mingle. When you're married, you can't. I'm still single, right? I'm not trying to have premarital sex with it, but I won't say you can't. Men today who take what Paul is saying about marriage to a father who can betroth his daughter to another man, right? And whether they should do that or not anymore, <laughs> or keep his virgin, like mm -hmm, Jephthah's daughter. <laughs> Who was the first thing to meet her, him, and uh, after he won the battle, where he said, the first thing to show up, I will sacrifice to you in a burnt offering. Well, you can't offer, no matter what it is, you can't contradict one law with another law, right? You cannot offer your children to Moloch, right? Or the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. And make that law, right? <laughs> no, you can't. The law cannot contradict itself, right? Now, the thing is, right, the way you fulfill that for a human being, though, you don't burn her as a burnt offering. <laughs> she just don't what? Marry, marry, and have any children. She never has children. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But she, too, like Isaac, was supposed to be a female burnt offering for the Lord, which is what I mean, right? You don't know about Jephthah's daughter, right? <laughs> like Isaac, she was to be offered up as a burnt offering to the Lord, but you can't do that in Israel because of Isaac's own 
point, right? You don't offer up children to fire. Mm -hmm. But if you confuse it now, right? I'm not saying what they did. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm saying is the law does not allow you to do that to your daughter. Right? Now, there's two ways, though. Another way you can do that, and that has to do with childbearing. If your daughter don't have a child and she dies and uh, childless, right? she's a burnt sacrifice because she never had an offspring right? and she was his only daughter, right? Or only child, only child. So you can't offer her as a burnt offering to the Lord. That's taboo. That's where we're sitting there. Because that would be like offering her the bullet, right? <laughs> and then you got the three Hebrews' children cast into the fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? And again, and again. <laughs> I don't know. God don't give you more. But I know he can. And then he can. <laughs> Who raised Jesus from the dead, right? If you have to do something three times because I'm around the girl for over an hour, <laughs> in addition to her doing my nails, <laughs> you fucked up, man. <laughs> Not me. I don't know. And she chose whatever we chose to do during that 20 minutes while you were gone, right? And I know you came back, and I know you left, and I know you came back, and I know you left, and I know you came back, and I know you left three times. Right? And the third time, I left and paid the bill. <laughs> After that, <laughs> we were done. We were done. <laughs> Me and her, whatever we did, whatever we did, whether I remember it or not. Right? But you ain't going to hurt her. You're not going to hurt her. Whether she's your 15-year-old daughter or 37-year-old daughter, which is what she told me, right? And she didn't have to tell me that. <laughs> Unless she feared I would get her in trouble for it. Which then she could call the police. She didn't have to sleep with me either, right? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't know until after. And if you back me out, I don't know then, right? And then it goes back to the nail job, right? And then I lost the time again, right? Then it goes back to the nail job, and I lost the time again, right? To where I'm getting out. Almost an hour later, right? At 10 to 4 instead of 10 to 3. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't remember the nail job being anything abnormal except, you know, she's doing my feet first and then my nails, right? So I remember, right? <laughs> and our conversation up to that point, right? Because, one, you're trying to make a sin. All on your own. All on your own. <laughs> and it's not a sin. And it's not a sin. No, it's not. No, it's not. Even if she was 50, right? The thing about statutory rape is the person has to be old enough or young enough to not be able to make that decision on her own, right? If you have her working in the store, you're telling the law. Mm -hmm. You think she's mature enough to work in that job as if she was 16, right? If she's a year younger, right? We're not talking about a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, 14-year-old. We're talking about a 15-year-old who lied and that she was 37. And then I lost time what happened next, right? And then <laughs> I lost time about what happened next. And then <laughs> I lost time about what happened next. And then I'm leaving, right? Right? <laughs> right. To where I'm out by 10 to 4, not... In the three, which is what's supposed to be, right? Then I can go to the movie theater and even walk and come back and leave my car there or whatever. I've done that before, right? Because it's about exercise. That part. See, I also try to exercise short periods during the day, right? One of the ways I do that is I'll park, right? Somewhere else sometimes I'm walk further, right? If it's like to the theater and I already came there, right? To get the nail job, I might leave the car there and walk to the theater mm -hmm. and then come back and get the car and leave and leave. Because I can park into the handicapped parking there and it still kills two birds with one stomp, right? I get to walk to the theater from that area and then back, right? You see what I mean? <laughs> but she could have told me that and I wouldn't have had a problem with that. She wouldn't have had to sleep with me either. 
I went and got her in trouble. I don't care if she's 15 and working in her father's door. Why would that bother me? Why would I try to get her in trouble for that? I didn't even know. <laughs> if I, if I, if I, if I, <laughs> but then something's scaring her. Right? And it ain't me. And it ain't you. <laughs> I don't even know if she, how she knows me or why I wasn't show her the videos or what else we did, right? Right? I know we did something. And it's about her age, either way. <laughs> and all I know is, to me, she looks like she's Michelle Kwan, right? And she tells me her name is Michelle, right? Like I said, right? You know, I'm not saying she's the Michelle Kwan, but the 37 and the 51, okay, <laughs> I'm just seeing, she looks like Michelle Kwan. She says she's 37. She's talking about going, being in college. And I thought the women were picking on her because she was having to work as a nail technician and wasn't able to apply her degree. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. She did all that work and now she's got to work as a nail technician anyway. You understand? <laughs> Damn. I don't know. That's what I would be thinking myself, right? That they were picking on her because of that, right? And here she is working in some nail salon in Georgia, right? Well, she said it was New York or New Jersey, right? I don't know. I don't know, right? I remember all the details, but <laughs> within reason I do, right? And within reason I don't, right? I'm not mad about it, right? No, no matter what happened, I was intentionally trying to trick her. I don't think she was intentionally trying to treat me, but if that's what happened, fine, fine. <laughs> we still both dealt with it how we had to deal with it, right? Now, like I said, <laughs> having sex with someone, even in the bathroom, don't mean I got to be pregnant or not, right? <laughs> if I did, though, it would happen nine months later, like any job, right? <laughs> and if I didn't, <laughs> and it don't mean Jesus is going to resonate me spoon. <laughs> Even if I threaten her dad with that, right? If he came in after we went to the bathroom, right? And tried to black me out, right? Three times, if you know. And I had to resurrect three times, and you resurrect three times, right? <sighs> You're not supposed to believe it. You're not one of the two witnesses outside of Jerusalem. You can't believe it, right? It's not your faith, and no. Uh, you're following whatever God you're following, and I can't help that. That ain't my job. Uh, no. My job ain't to tell you the truth. My job is to tell God I'm understanding the truth, even if you're not, right? That might sound a little vain, right? But if it's the truth, the truth makes you free. If it's not the truth, you're still confused, right? And like Jesus said, some will know me, right? But some will think they know me, but don't know me, right? How do you know the difference? The scriptures. You got to teach them all. Right? Like Paul said, all doctrine is taught by all the scriptures. If you're misinterpreting one scripture, even Satan did that with Jesus. <laughs> and try to get him to jump from the temple mount by misquoting a psalm. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> you notice though he didn't. <laughs> he knew better than that. Right? Now, trying to get in my room from a three-story building is half the height of the Temple Mount. Now, 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 the devil was trying to take Jesus to the highest pinnacle of the Temple Mount, though he was still in the wilderness, by the way. The temptation is to leave the wilderness, go to the, come up to the top of the Temple and jump. And you know, he said, no, <laughs> no, right. That's what we would call a suicide attempt today, right? 